child of the Lord today. Amen. If you know it was the Holy Ghost. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it was the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we praise you today. God, we magnify your name today, God. God, we ask you to have your way, God. God, I ask you to take control, God. God, let no unwholesome word proceed out of my mouth, but that which is good to the edifying of the hearer, God. To give life, God. To build your people up, God. God, we ask, God, that you look on each one here today, God. Bless each person here today, each family represented, God. God, we thank you for our pastor, our first lady, God. Continue to bless them. God, I ask you to humble me, God. Hide me behind the cross, God, and have your way, God. I'll step out of the way, and I ask you to take control. In Jesus' name, let the church say amen. amen. One time, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Give an honor to our, our pastor, Chief of Faith Smith, First Lady Smith. Amen. All of our elders, all of our ministers, everyone in their perspective places. Amen. I'm going to ask if you can remain standing. I don't want you to get up, sit down, and get back up. Amen. Grab your Bible at this time. I'm going to ask you to turn, amen, to 1 Peter, the fourth chapter. Amen. And we're going to begin at verse number 12. Amen. I praise God, amen, for my wife here on today. Amen. I call her my honey bun. Amen. Amen. She's the better of me. Amen. Thank God for my children. Amen. And I'm just excited. Amen. For my, my son. Amen. About to make his arrival. Amen. Can we give Mr. Tillman a hand clap of praise? Amen. For all of her hard work. Amen. Serving in the ministry. Amen. Amen. Serve me even when she don't want to. Amen. We praise God for her. Amen. 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 We praise God. Amen. First Peter chapter 4. Amen. We're going to begin at uh, verse number 12. Amen. And I'm going to read it to you. Here we go today. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice. Look at somebody and say rejoice. rejoice. In as much as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceedingly joy. Yes. If ye being reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye yes. for the spirit of God, the spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. Look at somebody say, he is glorified. He is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, yes. or as a thief, yes. or as an evildoer, yes. or a busybody yes. in other men's matters. Yes. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on his behalf. Look at somebody else and say, glorify God. Glorify. And if the righteous, verse 18, we'll skip down to 18, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where the ungodly and the sinner shall appear. Verse 19, wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of God commit, look at somebody and say commit, commit. the keeping of their souls for him and well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Amen. I would like, amen, to leave you, amen, with this subject on this morning. Look at somebody and say a painful Experience. Experience. Amen. And the title of the message this morning, I want you to go to three people and, and let them know that my pain, my pain has, a has a purpose. Come on, you miss your shout right there. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, my pain, my pain has, a purpose. has a purpose. Amen. You may say you're sick in the purpose. presence of the Lord. Amen. Many of you didn't catch that. Amen. I hope you catch it. Amen. But I want you to know that your pain what you're going through has a purpose. Amen. As I get older, amen, as I've learned, amen, as I've uh, just 32 years of life, I've learned, amen, that pain increases through time. Amen. As I started to grow, amen, I started to feel pains out of nowhere in my body, bones cracking, knees cracking. Amen. And some things just don't make sense unto me. Amen. But many times, amen, we just want the pain to go away. Amen. amen. We just want the pain to go away. Amen. We want our circumstances, amen, amen to be lifted. Amen. And shifted. Amen. And it's very seldom, amen, nowadays that people, amen, want to suffer, amen, or can even, amen, withstand 
painful experiences. Yeah. Amen. Nowadays, amen, in church, amen, if you tell somebody, amen, about themselves, they want to leave the church. Yeah. Amen. If you want to tell somebody, amen, in love, amen, that, you know, they're just, you know, not doing what God has called them yeah, to do, yeah. amen. They want to they want to talk about you, amen. They want to leave the ministry, yeah. amen. And it's just nowadays, amen, we become so sensitive, amen, that we can't endure pain. Look at somebody and say, endure. Endure. Amen. What we fail to recognize is that our pain, amen, and our suffering is a tool that God uses to perfect character in us. Yeah. Amen. Most of the time we waste tears. Amen. Uh, stand up at night. Amen. Walk in the floor. Amen. Because we don't understand what God, amen, is doing in this season of our life. Yes. Amen. I want you to know, amen, that the enemy comes, amen, to rob us of our joy. Amen. Rob us of our peace. Amen. And if I could just change, amen, your perspective about how you view pain and suffering this morning, amen, I want you to know that what you're going through, amen, is worth for your good. Yeah. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's working for your good. What you're going through right now is working for your good. Amen. We ought to praise God, amen, for our trials, amen, our tribulation, amen, where he's brought us from, amen, because, amen, if it had not, amen, be for the Lord, amen, that was on our side. Where will we be today? Where would we be today? Let somebody say, my, my, my pain has a purpose. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17. It says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Look at, look at somebody say, it's only for a moment. It's only temporary. Amen. And it works for us a far more exceedingly eternal weight of glory. I want you to know, amen, that what you're going through this morning, what you're up against, amen, no matter what it looks like, amen, no matter what it feels like, look at somebody and say, after this, after there, will be glory. there will be glory. Amen. Come on, you got to believe it on your own and in your spirit today. Amen. And after this, after I've suffered a while, amen, after I've endured, after I've pressed through, there will be glory after this. Amen. We ought to shout over our troubles, our pain, amen. God has brought us from a mighty long way, amen. They come to make us stronger, amen, amen. And sometimes, amen, we ask God, why am I going through this? Why? Did this have to happen to me? Amen. I'm a faithful, amen, believer, amen. I'm always in Bible study. I'm always praying. I'm always seeking your face. But God wants you to know today that your pain yes. has a purpose. Yes. Come on, reach out. Minister Tim, what are you saying? What, what do you mean that my pain has a purpose? I want you to know that God is setting you up for a miracle. Yes. 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 Say, that God is setting me up for a miracle. Yes. The Bible says that eyes have not seen, yes. nor ears heard, yes. and neither has it entered into the heart of man. Yes. Amen. Even though you can't see it, amen. I, I challenge you on today to just believe it. Yes. Yes. Amen. The Bible says to call those things not as though they were. Yes. Amen. Amen. And 1 Peter 4 and 12, amen. Verse 13, amen. Peter, the apostle Peter, amen, tells us to rejoice. Now, preacher, how can I rejoice when my change is strange, when my marriage is on the verge of being destroyed, when my ministry is on the verge of being destroyed, when I'm suffering in my flesh, when I, I, I have feelings of loneliness, feelings of depression, thoughts of suicide, how can I rejoice? But the Bible declares to rejoice. Thanks be unto God that always causes us to triumph. Amen. God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. If he did it for you then, he can do it for you again. Come on and put a praise on it. Amen. Psalms 119.71. It says, it is good. Listen, it is good. This sounds crazy, right? It is good for me that I have been afflicted that I might learn thy statutes. Amen. The Bible says that many of the afflictions yes. of the righteous, many of the afflictions are the righteous. 
but God will do what? Deliver me out of them all. Yeah. Amen. You got to be able to stand on the word. Amen. In the midst of your storm. Yeah. Amen. In the midst of your trouble. Yeah. In the midst of your pain. Yeah. Amen. And know that it's working for your good. Yeah. Your pain has a purpose. Yeah. Amen. Your pain is preparing you for your next level. Amen. Your suffering. Amen. Your pain. Amen. Is going to perfect you. Yeah. Look at somebody and say your pain is perfecting you. Your pain is Oh, I think I'm in here by myself today. I think I'm in here by myself. Amen. I know I amen. I know it's tight, but it's right. Look at somebody and say it's right. Amen. God is allowing us to be afflicted to pull some junk out of our closet. Is there anybody in here with junk? I know you ain't gonna confess to it. Amen. But I know that I got some stuff, amen, that I need to be delivered from. Amen. I didn't just get saved and I'm just perfect. Amen. But I know, amen, that I'm not what I used to. I'm not, I'm not what I want to be. But I know that I'm not what I used to be. Amen. I'm just letting God, amen, perfect amen, and be what he's trying to do. Is there anybody that has a witness with me today? Amen. That you just want God, amen, to have his way in you. Amen. You just want God, amen, to make you over. Amen. And you just want God, amen, to create in you a clean heart. Okay, I'm by myself. I believe it was Paul that said, amen. I press toward the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Paul understood, amen, that amen, even though, amen, I'm an apostle, I'm the least of the apostles. And I have not arrived, amen, but I suffer for Christ's sake. Amen. We have to get back to the place, amen, to where we're suffering as Christians. Amen. We stand in a position today as a church, amen, where we compromise, amen, to the point to where the world, amen, can't even distinguish us, amen. We have too much world in us. Okay, I'm in here by myself today. Amen. We can't, amen, hang with the chickens and expect to fly. Amen. Your pain is temporary. Look at somebody say it's temporary. Yes, we allow the devil the victory when we get mad, amen, when we get frustrated, amen. They, amen, I want you to know when we get mad, amen, we, we get confused. We allow the enemy, amen, to distract us, amen, because, amen, we have to understand, amen, that what we're going through is only temporary. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Proverbs 24 and 10, if thou faint in the day of adversity, amen, thy strength is small. Amen. We have to go back, amen, to the source of our power. Amen. Look at somebody say, we need more power. We need amen. More. If we hunger and thirst for righteousness, amen, the Bible says that we shall be filled. Yeah. Amen. But we are suffering, amen, as, as saints today. Amen. We're suffering, amen, because, amen, we lack authenticity. Amen. We lack, amen, the ability, yeah. amen, to identify with the world, amen, amen, amen and what we should display, amen, to the world, amen, is that, amen, everything is all good, amen, in the hood amen, I don't go through anything, amen I don't struggle, amen, I don't have no trials, amen, but amen if you just, amen, if I just have one saint amen, in the house today, amen that can identify, amen, with the world today, amen, that I was in some stuff, amen, but it was God that brought me out it was God that delivered me out it was God that healed my body. Huh? It was God that touched my mind. Amen. We can just give God a hand like the world for all that he's done, all that he's doing. My pain. Lay your hands on, lay your hands on yourself and say, my pain has a purpose. Amen. You may not understand it. Amen. You may not be able to see it. Amen. But you don't know my story. Amen. You don't know all the things, amen, that God has done for me. Uh -huh. Amen. But I thank God. Amen. I thank God. Amen. Because, amen, God sees the best in us. Yes. Ladies and never say, God sees the best in you. Yes. Amen. How can I know that my pain has a purpose? Yes. Ladies and never say, neighbor, how can I know, can I know that, my pain that my pain has a purpose? Has a purpose. Amen. Romans 8 and 28. It says, and we know that all things 
work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Amen. I want you to know that God has purposed you. Amen. God has predestinated you. Amen. God, amen, has gifted you. Amen. God has anointed you for such a time as this. Amen. I want you to know that you can't be distracted. Amen. What the enemy, amen, is doing in your life. Amen. But I want you to know, amen, that the blood of Jesus, amen, that never loses its power. Amen. That keeps you from all hurt, harm, and danger. Amen. Has you covered. Yes, yes, yes. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I have, I have purpose. Amen. If you're not living on purpose, amen, you're just existing. Yes. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, live on purpose. Live on purpose. Amen. God calls every Christian, amen, to suffer. Amen. 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Yea, and all that will live godly. And Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Amen. I want you to know this morning that, neighbor, you have to suffer this morning. I want you to know, amen, you have to go through, amen, in order to get to it. Amen. Many of us, amen, we want a great anointing. Amen. We want God to elevate us. Amen. But we don't want to go through anything. Amen. But I want you to know the way to get to it, amen, is to go through it. Amen. 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 The way to get to your next level. The next level. The next phase in your life, amen, you have to go through some stuff, yes. amen, and God is watching you, amen, this is only a test, look at your neighbor and say it's only a test, only a test. God wants to know if he can trust you, yes. amen, when God allows things to come, amen, in our life, he wants to know, amen, will you stand, yes. amen, have you done all that you can, can you stand, yes. amen, are you going to throw in a towel, are you going to quit, amen, are you going to give up, amen, but do I have just one witness, amen, Come on and grab your neighbor's hand and say, every pain has purpose. Amen. God chose me to make a difference. Amen. I'm a child of God. Amen. I'm the apple of God's eye. Amen. We got to get back, amen, to preaching to ourselves. We got to get back to praising by ourselves. Amen. Even though nobody is praising, nobody's praying, I'm praising by myself. Amen. The Bible says that everything has purpose. Praise you, the Lord. before you long. Amen. But it is something that we have to recognize. And many times, amen, we're going through things in the church and we don't want nobody to know. But your pain has a purpose. Amen. It's, it's your, your, your enemies, your haters, amen, they have a purpose in your life. You have to understand from God's perspective, he's using your enemies to get you to your next level. I don't know about you, amen, amen, but I have some haters. I got people that don't like me, and, 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 and I really don't care. I really don't care, amen, because they don't know what I've been through, amen. They don't know the calling that I have on my life, amen. They don't know what God is trying to do, amen, but God told me, amen. He told me that I'm using them, amen, as a stepping stool, amen, to get you to your next level, amen. God says that there's pain, amen, in your life, but I'm going to use it, amen, for your good. Come on and shout yes. Amen. You got to be able to take a licking, amen, and keep on ticking. Do I have anybody here today? Amen. You got to be able, amen, to endure something. Look at somebody and say endure it. Amen. You got to be able to live through some things. Is there anybody in the house, amen, that have lived through some stuff? Amen. And you can give God a praise, amen, for all that he's done. Amen. Because he was able, amen, to get you through that storm. Amen. To get you through the fire. Amen. When you were in hell and high water. It was God that brought you out. Come on and shout it yes. I want you to know today that your pain has a purpose. Come on, your pain has a purpose. I want you to know that I'm going to praise my way through. I'm going to pray my way through. I'm going to walk my way through. You got the power to command the mountain to move. You don't have to climb no mountain. You can command it to move. What's going on in your life? I dare you to command it to move. 
yourself. I command you to line up your pain. Sometimes it's self-inflicted. Sometimes you're your worst enemy. Sometimes you're your worst critic. But you gotta be like David. You gotta be able to encourage yourself. But nobody else encourages you. You gotta say, self, I can make it. Self, I can go a little bit further. Self, after this, there shall be glory. After I've suffered a little while. After I've endured the pain. After I've been talked about. After I've been lied on. After I've been cheated. Mistreated. Abused. Accused. Oppressed. Depressed. But thanks be unto God who gives us the victory. My pain is worthy for my good. My pain. My struggle, my issue, get on, got enough tissue for my issue. Yeah. Oh, Michelle, yes. My pain is working for a pretty one. I'm blessed, blessed, and highly favored. I'm going to encourage you, sir. I'm blessed, blessed, and highly favored. Don't sweat, need to be dismayed. But Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. In my house are many mansions. If it were not so, I wouldn't have told you. But you got to be able to stand on the word. Not on your 401k, on your AK-57. you got to stand on the word. Stand on his promises. I mean, there are all you can. Stand. Yes, stand with the best plate of righteousness, the gospel of peace. Come on and shout yes. Yeah. Can I tell you why you can't give up? You're too close to your miracle. If you ever watch the marathon, I believe Pastor even said it himself. Sometimes I want you to know that this work of God is that of a marathon. Many people start out and they're walking with the Lord. And then they start seeing all kind of obstacles. They start paying attention to what's going on in their body. My flesh sometimes is acting up. But you can't look. They made a choice around it. But you gotta look at the prize. You gotta look at the glory. You gotta keep on stepping. No matter who's following you. No matter who falls off in your life. You gotta keep on walking. This walk that I'm on. It's not for my mother. It's not for my sister. But this walk I'm on. It's for Christ Jesus. Because he died, but on the third day, he arose again. They shut him high and why? They pierced his son to the cross that Jesus died. Jesus did it for me. He suffered for me. He bled. He died. I got to suffer. Amen. Many of you, amen, we look at our pain 
We live in our struggle. Yes, sir. Amen. And sometimes it feels like it's going to kill us. Yes. It looks like it's going to destroy us. Amen. It looks like it's going to take us out. Yes. Amen. But you can't, amen, look at what you're going through. Yes. Yes. Amen. You got to keep your eyes on the prize. Look, somebody say, keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize. Amen. God told me to tell you that this is your season. Look at somebody and say, this is my season. This is my season. Amen. This is my winning season. Amen. I've been losing. Amen. I've been down and out. Amen. I've been walking in the shadows. Amen. But this is my season. This is my season to be blessed. This is my season to come out in the name of Jesus. My pain has purpose. I want you to know today that Jesus, he knows your pain. He knows what you're going through. The shortest scripture in the Bible, Jesus wept. Amen. God went through because he's able, amen, to know what we went through. The Bible says that he was a man that endured and was tempted, amen, of everything. Yeah. Amen. But he remained sinless. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15 and 16. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched yeah. with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yeah. yet without sin. Yeah. Let us therefore listen. Amen. He paved the way. Amen. If you don't get nothing out of this message, amen. amen. If you don't shout on nothing else that I amen. said, amen. You better shout on this. Amen. Let us therefore come boldly oh, yeah. unto the throne of grace. He had to go through, amen. Yeah. Amen. So you can have access. Yeah. Look at somebody and say access. access. Boldly unto the throne of grace. Yeah. That we may be able to obtain mercy. Is there anybody, amen, to thank God for mercy and grace? Yeah. Thank God for his mercy. When I was in the midst of my sin, amen, when I was in the midst of my struggle, amen, thank God, amen, that he didn't take me home in the middle of my sin. Amen, thank God, amen, that I was out walking the streets, amen, that he didn't take me out, amen, that I would have been caught up, amen, but I praise God for his mercy, amen, mercy and grace, amen, and I say, amen, by works, amen, by his unmerited favor, Can somebody say favor, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Don't you know that Jesus suffered for you? They placed a crown of thorns on his head. Amen. Amen. You got to understand that he did it just for you. Just for me. We got to be able, amen, to praise him in advance. Amen. Even though it looks weary. Amen. Even though it looks dreary. Amen. We got to be able to praise him. You got to see it before you see it. Come on and shout yes. Come on and praise him. Come on and lift him up. your confusion but your faith. 
Amen. There may be someone here today, amen, that's saying amen, that, that I haven't realized, amen, that my pain, amen, is working for me, amen. I've been struggling in my mind. I've been struggling in my body. I've been struggling, amen. I've been frustrated. I've been angry. I've been disobedient. I've had a lack of commitment because I'm looking around and I see, I see things. I see things in the church, I see things at home, I see things at work. And I can admit that I haven't dealt with it as God has called me to. Amen, our elders and our ministers are coming at this time. Amen, and we want to pray for you on today. Amen, is there anyone in the house, amen? I want to know that my pain has a purpose in my life. Amen, I need prayer today, I need prayer in my mind. I need prayer. I need prayer because I'm, I'm struggling with my eyes. I'm struggling with my vision. Amen. I can't see what God is doing in this season. But we want to pray for you today. We want to pray, amen, that God will enlighten your eyes and your understanding. Amen. We want to pray for your heart today. Amen. We want to pray for your soul today. Amen. We ask that you come at this time. room, this room at the altar. God wants to touch your mind today. 